how banks are preparing to the new regulation about liquidity of Basel III. We have um, half of the seminar behind us at the moment and tomorrow we will continue and it's a good sign that there are two liquidity sessions both days and it's, it, it definitely brings it to the light, it's important. Uh, the preparations, what we have seen today, are rather much technical. We have discussed about what Basel is saying. We are hearing about what kind of headaches banks are having. And this combination needs answers. And that's what is about the preparation. And, and I think the most important point here is that of course, we have to obey what Basel says, no doubt. But um, it, not even Basel's intention is to only do one model, what Basel says. The idea is to teach banks to think this way. And that's what we can do preparations for. Banks really need to do preparations and start thinking this way. And then they have. 20 scenarios, 30 scenarios. Yes, one of them is Basel official. But how they run their bank, this is it. That's the whole main problem here. And, and, and we haven't solved it yet today, so we have to continue tomorrow. The, definitely liquidity is the hot topic of the day. And uh, we have now half of the conference behind us. And, uh, and it's good news that we have in the both days, we have a liquidity parallel session. It's, it's, evidence that liquidity is the issue of, of today. And uh, what we have heard today has been a lot of technical issues. What is Basel saying? Um, exact uh, specifications. And then what we have heard from the banks is banks are clearly having a headache. What to do? That's, that's a dilemma. Tomorrow we have to continue and start to give some answers, some preparations. What is it what we need to do here? And, and one issue that I felt today we haven't discussed clearly is that Basel, with all respect, is just one model. And this has been one of the headaches of the banks. But I think the whole idea in Basel three liquidity rules is to teach banks to think in a particular way. And then when banks are starting to think this way, they are creating 20, 30, somebody 15 different scenarios. And these scenarios and why they do these scenarios is, is important to, for running the bank and surviving in, in this liquidity jungle. And of course, one of these scenarios is the official Basel, but it's only one. It's not one model or any model never can be right. It's a question of thinking the right way and being prepared. Uh, the Italian market is very interesting from two point of view. Um, first, there are a lot of banks and a lot of old banks. And, and Italian market is in a way same type of market like the Nordic banking market. It's a bit off site from the London, New York hassle. And, and Nordic banks like the Italian banks have not been there cooking the soup on the wrong way. This is traditional old banking. We are talking about balance, we are talking about long relations with the customers and how to survive. And this makes for me the Italian banking market very, very interesting. And, and the discussions are amazingly similar what we have experienced in our whole market in the Nordic countries.